writing, and I, I forgot you were here. I didn't mean to intrude on your on your work. It's no big deal, Father McNally. Did I see you come in this morning? You said hello. Did I? <laughs> Sorry. No problem. I was working. It's no problem. Wish I could focus the way you do. My brain is always going in three directions at once. <laughs> well, I will let you get back to... You want the bathroom? No, no, thank you. <laughs> I have the little kitchen to do. I can finish later. No, no, it's all right. You have to go to the bathroom. I mean, I still have the kitchen to do. Well, all right, thank you. <laughs> I used your J there. That's what stood it for me. Now, the score is 11 to 34. We're both in the double digits, aren't we? Your turn now. I know, Mom. Smith. Did you say Smith, Matthew? Smith, which is the archaic form of smote. <laughs> As in, and he smote them hip and thigh with a great slaughter. Judges 15.8. Archaic words are allowed under the rules. They're on the inside of the box. Six points. Only six points for you so early in the game. This is the best I could do. I don't need pity. <laughs> I hardly need for anybody to help me win a game of Scrabble. You've never won a game of Scrabble, Mom. Then why should I win one now? <laughs> also, I'm just bad. On purpose? Yeah, I'm bad on purpose. Who are you? Garrett. Is this your house? No. Then you're a trespasser, so you're bad too. No, I just came to talk to Father McNally. Well, get in line, I guess. That's the one my mother's talking to. I'll come back later. I had a question for him, that's all. If God exists, why does he let all those babies starve to death in Somalia? Is that your question? <laughs> and how can people say things like, God was really watching over me because my car flipped over and caught on fire and I got all these bad burns, but I didn't die? <laughs> if God was, watching over them? How come that car flipped over and caught on fire in the first place? Is that your question? No. <laughs> Things to think about, though. <laughs> <laughs> How old is your daughter? She's 16. And uh, where is she this evening? In the car. Oh. You just have there all by herself? She has a Walkman and a video game. You can leave her like that for hours. Like a brain in a jar. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you like to bring her inside and, and, and let her have a bit of roasted chicken? She doesn't eat food, really. Only things called Whopper, you know. Taco Supremo. <laughs> oh, children are terrible! They can be. What's in the box? This one! Yes. Um, this week's groceries for Mrs. McNally. There are more in the car. And Garrett, I bring the groceries. Hence the groceries in the box. Hank, the groceries in the box. <laughs> What's in your box, if I can ask? Seventeen pairs of brown suede shoes from the 1960s, uh, minus the laces, with holes in the soles. There are more in the attic. Oh. You wouldn't want to trade, would you? How come there's no laces in the shoes? Because old shoelaces are useful for other things and are kept in a drawer in the guest bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a good thing never being touched. <coughs> they do experiments on monkeys, little baby monkeys. They stop eating if nobody touches them. Sometimes they die. Sit down. what Abby does when we're watching TV. She just sits at my feet like this and leans her head back. And I go like this. It goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall and the major lift. 
the baffled king composing.